Boom! Oh, d mm. Why do I do that? Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. Hmm. Well, I was kind of sitting here happy that I've actually found a way to not experience back pain when recording videos. And then I went and blew myself up. So, there's that. Anyways, last episode we had some fun with Murray. We shot some things with the turret. While Murray was under fire as well. And now, what we wish to do is actually start off with a rather interesting level. I've considered this my favorite level so far in the game, actually. That's saying quite a bit, because I've enjoyed this game so far. But two to tango. This will be a fun one. This one's kind of short, but also something new. Also, I'm enjoying the environment a lot. Okay. Thanks for doing that, Sly. I just held circle and he did that. That was a little bit absurd. Sly, for some reason, just likes to grab things you don't expect him to grab sometimes when you press the circle button midair. Anyways. So, what makes this all interesting does pop up pretty quickly, thankfully. Sadly, we won't get much use of our binocular com in this level. But we won't be needing much. Well, I like that jump right there. It kind of reminds me of, uh... What is it? Reminds me a little bit of the first level of Mirror's Edge. Well, well, well. Look who just walked into my crosshairs. Sly Cooper. About time you showed up, Miss Fox. I was getting worried about you. Thought you took a wrong turn somewhere back in Paris. The only one making wrong turns is you, Sly. I'd suggest you surrender before I paralyze you with my good friend, the shock pistol. Now see, a girl whose best friend's a firearm's got issues. A little dinner, a little dancing, I think I can help you out. Hmm, sounds romantic. As long as you don't mind dining in jail. Nah, I hear the service is lousy. Once I catch you, you'll know for yourself. No thanks. So basically the fun part of this level is everything you do, you're doing while under fire. Which I like. You finally get some reminder of the fact that uh, I'm ready to fox is after you. So there's a little bit of story relevance as well, but it's also just fun in that you're running around while getting shot at. Something nice and fast paced, which is very different from the other stuff we've been doing so far. And it's rather refreshing. Just keep moving and basically she'll have a really hard time hitting you. Oh. Also something to note is that while she usually fires straight, she can also fire in an arc when need be. So, she won't always end up having her projectiles on exactly where it looks like they will, but they also move very slowly anyway, so it's not much of a problem. Basically, all you have to do to actually... Whoa, dear. Easily pick up all of the clues is goodbye. Easily pick up all the clues is just kind of look on all the platforms you're going on. Every building you can pretty easily see everything that's there, but if you can't immediately just go look at anything you can't already see and. Oh, I can actually do like something like, like a diagonal attack like that. Interesting. But uh, anyways, just look at the entirety of the building, and pretty much everything is in plain sight if you actually care to look for it. If you are too direct with uh, getting across the rooftops, you very well, you definitely will miss a couple of things. And some easy stealth. It's not even really worthy of the funny stealth noises when you walk across the ground. 
This level, surprisingly enough, does not subject you to the whole, oh no, I'm almost out of, or oh no, I completed the level and I'm missing a clue thing. But, also for some reason, oh I see, that's why I accidentally hit. I didn't notice that whenever I dive down here, I accidentally hit something, but I never realized it was actually safe. Good thing I know Navajo code talk. Try five, three, two. Five. Three. Huh. Somehow, last episode, I managed to actually change the number after it was accepted, but whatever. Oh yeah, this will come in handy. It's Suzanne Cooper's notes pertaining to water safety. With this knowledge under your belt, you won't have to waste a charm whenever you fall into water. Super non-drowning powers, activate! It's not very useful up on the rooftops, but it is a really cool ability to have. I haven't actually gotten any use out of this yet. I'm assuming that from here on out there actually won't be much water anymore to be found on the different levels, which was kind of the main hazard of the early levels. So I don't think it'll be as useful as it might initially sound. That's still pretty cool, I think. A really nice thing to have, completely make you invulnerable to something. Um, it was so troublesome to you earlier in the game. I think it's a really nice progression for the player. Also, currently the fox looks really large for Garrison to slot here. Oh, by the way, uh, something that might be useful is during some of these portions, if things are going a little bit too quickly for you, you're just not sure about. If you need, either need some time to breathe or just look ahead of you and see what's going on. You can, of course, use your slow ability. Just remember that you have to be in the air to use it. And it only lasts while you're in the air. But for example, if you need some time to think here because you don't see where to go, if you don't see this little thing, you can jump on right here. It pays to use that. I'm not entirely sure what happens right here. Oh, whoops. Darn it. What happened, I think it was there, or not, maybe somewhere else? Yeah. What happened right there, uh, on that platform I fell off of just now, the first time, I, uh... Whoa. I heard, like, a really weird echo on my voice. Sorry for talking about over Carmelito. But first time I ran through this level, the thing I saw happen was, she shot at that rotating platform and made it fall, and then the platform hit me in midair and hurt me. It was kind of weird. That's something I can see I've ever seen happen before in this game. But fun new dynamic things is what makes me like that level so much, actually. So I believe we've done 100% on everything, well, aside from the sprints, we've done everything in all these levels so far. Yep, vault on everything. And now that we can actually just have not drown, because we don't feel like it, let's test this out. Seriously! I try to jump in water and the game just does, decides to consider it, instead of water, a drop that would kill me instead. So it doesn't help me? That's cruel. I'm gonna bet a life on this. That is awesome. That so seems so exploitable too. Because of how, how you uh, fly through air and solid objects when you recover from that, but anyways. We do need one last key, and there aren't really many places more fitting to go for that key than straight to the top. Seems like a fitting title for the final place we're gonna head off to. Sounds very climactic. It is not actually that climactic, but I don't know. I like the sound these things make. And that too. But hooray, we can actually see all the things we need to see now. You see where things we want are. This is actually another short, straightforward, and not that interesting level. But, you do want to keep your eye out if you want to actually collect everything. 
for exploring each I just jumped at him and rolled. That was kind of interesting. I didn't see that drop there. I tried to jump when I was falling right there. But on each level of the of the uh, building, I guess you would say, on the roof, you will find lots of different things if you take the time to look around. And you definitely have to do that if you want to actually collect everything here. There's also a lot of gold to be found, too. Boom! Forget it! Your cane will never smash that thick glass! You'll need something super heavy, like that big wrecking ball up there! Something interesting I noticed. Makes one sound if you do that. If you hit it with your dive attack. Oh. It sometimes makes a different noise if you hit it with your dive attack like that. I don't know what the significance of this is, but I find it peculiar. And I haven't seen any rats or any other things that can squish get a lot of coins in a long time. I'm kind of missing it. Also, no, in case you're wondering, you cannot just hit the bowling ball from me bowling ball, wrecking ball from here to actually make it go where you need it to go. I mean, it's like I said, just kinda take your time. I mean, it's kind of obvious already, I would guess. But as you might expect, if you want to take your time if you want to uh collect everything here. And see this is what I've been talking about with slide just kind of not always going from the most obvious. Thing you tell him to grab. And you might not have noticed that G right there fell. Actually, I shouldn't do this part yet. That G right there fell, so now I can actually climb up onto it from on the lower level. So I don't have to do all that crazy climbing to get up here. Nice falls just in time. Actually, try running up to him before you attack. Just a piece of advice. If you look through every little corner, you're bound to find a lot of stuff. And one thing in particular is actually kind of funny. Well, it's mostly just kind of stuff sitting around. There's at least one thing that's kind of original and interesting. I have to be there right now. It's really easy to miss. I actually probably would have missed it if it wasn't a fact for that. There are lots of green things here. Grab this. And they kept something interesting in this little tower here. I believe there are ten of those in there, actually. So you'll be missing a lot of clues if you don't uh, notice that little thing there to pick up. Which is exactly what happened to me last time. And now that I believe we have everything on this level, having done that. So that would mean from here. No, so I stopped doing that. Yeah. I'm just race on through. I don't know why Sly consistently does that. If you try to jump on the O and then jump and grab the O a second time, you'll end up gra just barely grabbing the T. Or U, whatever that letter is. I'm not really paying much attention to what the letters actually are. Pretty sure that's a no. Significance is rather in how it affects your life and gameplay. And a sudden cutscene! Boom! Yeah. <laughs> A convenient thing to have happen, but I'll live with it. Ow! <laughs> Ow. I don't know, that was kind of a funny way for me to get hit. Diving, I'm just getting my head smashed in. But I wouldn't think it's fly away so much as to knock over an entire tower by being on top of it. However convenient it might be. 
you can go away. Space has, I don't know why Space has an entirety of 40 of these things to pick up. These clues. I mean, 10 or so of them are in one place, so it's not much of a problem. This place is so compact. Also, once again, like, speed versus everything else. I don't know if you can climb on top here and then. I don't know if you can climb from here uh, to the other part. If not, you know there's an invisible wall there. But if you feel like being a little bit quicker than usual. I think. Last thing I thought was a skip is an actual skip. I believe if you feel like being a little bit more quicker than usual, there's something you can jump to from on top of here. Yeah. You can actually jump to this right here. And just climb up, up on top of there. Also skips a little uh, bit of dialogue in here, put on here. on my feet. And suddenly heavy slide. Yes! And suddenly very rich slide also. And like usual, oh no, I'm happen to be missing a very small number of clues. And yet the vault is right here. Whatever will I do? I also does have to progress to the level and oh yay, there happens to be another one right here. How fun. Alright, Bentley. Tell us the magic numbers. You need an IQ of at least 140 to figure this one out. Is that the code? Four, six, eight. Yay, lag free dialing. So much quicker. And dramatic reveal! What do you get for this one? I don't remember. Oh yeah. He used to make fake stand-ups of himself to confuse guards into attacking the wrong thing. Use the triangle button to put together a fake Sly Cooper. This is one of the more... I haven't actually tried this one out much, but it seems like it's also one of the more practical abilities you can get. Some of them just don't seem that useful. Or some of them only have such limited usefulness. Like, slow. It can be useful. I showed useful for it this episode, but really limited. Roll. Not really useful at all unless you figure out how to use it, and even then it's really only useful for the Master Thief sprints, which are still cool, and I com intend to complete them one day. Because the developer commentaries are cool, which they apparently removed from the HD remake of this game, which makes me sad. That's something that makes me very happy to be playing the original PS2 version of the game. But you know, other things like mines just seem kind of... meh. Weird little cherry bomb things. Going fast is... Just kind of something to do if you're waiting a really long time, I guess, for some kind of timed event to repeat. Dive is incredibly useful, though. And of course, it's nice to be able to see the things that are loaded around the place with your Anaku cam, although you've also already proven by that point that you can already find all the clues on your own anyways, to actually have unlocked that. But it is also, of course, really nice to actually not have to worry about drowning. Of course, I'm not sure how many pools of water I'm going to find from this point on in the game, but it's still kind of cool anyways. So I'm not sure how the decoy is going to go. I guess I'll show off the decoy real quick too. Boop. I like its animation a lot. But I'm assuming that they'll detect it like you, it would a normal sly. And then once they attack it... Boop. What? Boop. Oh, let's destroy. If you destroy it, you can uh, plant another one. Or if you already have one out and you plant another one, I'll just put the one you already have out. Or if you have one out and you switch your abilities, I will also destroy it. Kind of the same deal as your hat, where your hat will disappear. A uh, hat mine will disappear if you switch to another ability. Boom! I have no idea why it's just the sides to swing way to the side when you uh 
land on it. It just kind of does that. And then it falls. Because that's rational. I need to climb back up here. Oh, that would be a good idea for me to do. Last time I went through this level, I actually just kind of went around the entirety of the rest of the level to do that. But oh well. Or to get back up there. Wow. Whoa. One second. I've made a discovery. That was the thing I expected. So you can dive for so long that you stop diving, I think. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know what's with... Ah, I don't know what's with this mutt guy's place and laggy key sequences, but that's happening a lot. Darn it, mugshot. Ruining my key victories. Anyways. So that having been done, we now have everything here on, uh... Mugshot's turf. Why am I here? You have all the keys here now, which means we have everything we need. Whoa! Oh, come on! Oh, shut up. I have everything I need, except for the golden horseshoe, I guess. Two. What? Okay, I was gonna save this for next episode, but sure. Oh, that's how you work keys. I have everything I need to do this. And because last time we left a switch on unintended, somebody flipped it for us. So I'll just go ahead and flip that switch right now. But having picked up everything we have, now it is time to grant ourselves entrance to the lair of the mugshot. Boom! Alright. Beyond these seemingly velvet doors. Is something a very... I, I don't really know what it's like. I haven't actually gone through these doors yet. Even off screen. So I'll have to see. I'll see, I'll see what happens with you guys too, I guess. Next time, the next episode of Let's Play Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. We will go after Mugshot and hopefully get back pieces of the Thievius Raccoonus. I actually can't promise that that's what is happening. Because I haven't seen it. What drama. Hmm. Bye guys!